Well, well, not bad for a day that I wasn't gonna do anything down here. Well, here I am gonna get some more work done on this fender. I wanna thank everybody for watching this part where I repaired the bottoms of both of these front fenders with some patch panels that Joe had purchased, but we also had to rebuild these inner structures on this fender in particular, repair the other one. You can check the previous video out if you wanna see that, but here's what I gotta deal with on the front of the driver's fender. It's rotted here where the brace goes. It's rotted up here behind the wheel well trim. And it's rotted right here in a very nice, obvious spot. So we're gonna take this bracket off. We're gonna do a little bit of investigative work here, decide how much of this we have to repair, how much of this we can save. And we're gonna come up with a plan together. What we are working with here is a front fender off this 1969 Oldsmobile W31. For the viewers that are just tuning in, it is a real W31. We have plenty of videos on the topic. And here's what I have to play with. We're gonna take this apart and we're gonna save as much of this fender as we can, but man, is it funky. The decision's long since been made to save it. So it's saved. But here, is the bracket for the front fender that goes to the radiator support that does not have a rubber insulator on here. I'm going to start by taking this off. I'm going to start by hitting this with a flap wheel and seeing how much is left. I'm going to try something here. I saved some of these old parts. And you wonder why you save all these old parts. Well, this is why. This is a pretty complex curve here. Really gradual, really smooth. And I have that part, you know, from rear quarters. Why can't we cut this up just to give the majority of what I need here? You know, the shape lines up really, really closely. So let's trim the fat. We know we got to introduce a little bit more of a sharper bend here right at the end. But I feel like this large area is going to save me a whole lot of time. Nothing to lose. It's just a scrap part laying around. We didn't buy it. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm onto something here. I feel like I have this thing lined up with the body line the way I want it. And if you just take a little bit of patience, you start putting some clamps and things you can stretch this metal this is really you know replacement you know made in taiwan kind of stuff let's be honest so it's much more easily manipulated than metal like that certainly 16 gauge inside this is not 16 gauge this isn't anyway so i'm just going to keep trimming some fat off of this thing and see if i can't make a lower portion of a passenger side quarter panel fit the front of a driver side fender. I'm starting to think that if anybody can do it, I can, which is a good mentality to have when you're doing this stuff. Look, what's the worst you can, what's the worst that's gonna happen? Am I gonna mess it up so bad that I can't use it? I don't think so. All right, let's keep cutting, see what I can come up with. I'll bring you up to speed here. What I did is I trimmed off the extra meat up here just to get it close to where I want it to stop. It meaning the new patch. I don't want to come up into the fender more than I have to. What I did here is I trimmed it back and then I just took my mini flap and I actually, you know, file finished the new patch to the edge. Can you see that? Let me see. I filed finished with the mini flap wheel, the new panel to the dimension that is the innermost edge of the wheel well lip. That's gonna to have to get done in a separate piece. Now what I've done, now that I have the shape really kind of laid out as nicely as I can, you know, I have my little index lines that I make with my Sharpie here. Let's see that, that you can see there it's lined up. Now it's lined up even better. Here is where I'm gonna start introducing the bend. The bend that wraps around to the underside of the fender you can see the fender here that's where i need the new metal to be now i can put my finger right in there so this is not perfect this is not a 
piece that's intended to repair the front part of the fender. But it is a piece, the more I mess with it, the more and more I'm committed to using it. I'm liking the idea of using it. And if I mess it up, I'll chuck it. So let's get this thing off of here and see how we can get a nice consistent bend underneath this to make that flap work. Took my little scribe here and scribed off the more of the meat I need to trim off. Obviously we don't want these extra pieces of metal here. We wanna be able to replicate that, that relief in there. The good news is we're gonna be able to cut out all of this rust. The bad news is some of this we're gonna to have to work with. And we'll have to do the old snot it up, grind it down kind of game because I just didn't have enough metal to come all the way up here. Plus, I want to try to keep the repair as low as I can. So if this is thin and I got to brush treat it and that kind of stuff, I think that's the compromise that we've all decided to do here. But you can see that it's starting to come to shape. It's like it's working out. So let's take this piece back off. I don't know, time number four or five. Let's take it back off and trim it. As a matter of fact, let me do this with you guys. I'm doing a whole lot of tell you what I'm going to do, do it, and then show you what I did. It's kind of not what everybody likes to see, but unfortunately, don't scratch it. Let's take this thing off of here, too. Let's see this piece. This is what has to get trimmed. Obviously, the rust is a bit of an issue, but I'll get it close, and then we'll do the same thing. We'll just file fit it to match, you know, with the, with the mini flap. Maybe I'll drill these holes in here now so I have a better index. It's probably a good idea. Okay, clamped in place for maybe the 30th from last time, but I'm going to trim all this now just with the mini flap and just kind of get that contour exactly how it was. I guess we're going to start doing some sort of a superficial trace line here. And start deciding where we're going to cut this fender to make this piece fit. It's about that time. All right, well, after all of this work, I have this piece made. Pretty cool, actually. Now we've traced a little line here with pencil. Anything inside this line is fair. Anything outside this line, this piece will not fit. I want to keep the weld line as low as I can, so I might come down lower here because, because I can. At least start my cut. You guys know how I like to do it. Cut lower than I think I'm going to need. And then if it's weak, I can always go bigger. If I start here, <laughs> I really got to be careful about that. Here is going to be funky, and I admit it is like this because it's all I had to work with. So let's cut off some stuff. I'm going to keep this body line, and really I want to keep this. So I have something to match it to. I know I have everything matched up here because it can only be what it can be. Yeah, that's kind of scary stuff for sure. If you pay attention in class, you'll understand what I mean. Always make the cut smaller than what you have to work with, which I successfully did. So now I can sneak up on it. I'm going to clean up the inside of the fender. It's really it's really all I, all I could do. I'm going to have to cut that rod out. But I'm going to put this on again. It takes a lot of on and off here. I'm going to get my index marks here. I was careful to not polish off my index marks it's like fitting right how I want it can you see the index mark on the on the new pound there it is there and there it's like as I lay it on it's really just laying on how I want it all right everybody here it is after several hours of work I have this piece lined up pretty nice I'm really happy with I the fact that I was able to source a component <laughs> from a component but it's kind of precariously clamped in place here. I do just want to tack it in so that I can then call it a day and say tomorrow we can finish it and metal, metal, uh, metal finish it. Let me fire up the old burner here and get this thing really permanently where I want it. I know we're going to have problems here. I know it. We'll have to drop back ten and punt over there. What I did over here too is I ground the original fender down. 
to allow for the dimension of the new sheet metal. There, this way I can lay the new sheet metal on top of it and kind of use it as a guide and weld along that seam as opposed to on the face, going to weld it in there. You'll see what I, it makes perfect sense in my mind. Well, well, not bad for a day that I wasn't going to do anything down here. But let me tell you something, my resources are low. My battery's dying, my energy's dying, my welding gas is dying. But this came out pretty good. Now it's just kind of snotted up because I didn't want to go burning through the car just yet. But there it is, guys. <laughs> I make myself laugh. This is, this is kind of cool. This is kind of cool. This is made <laughs> out of the front part of a right quarter panel. I dig it. But I'm going to call it a day. Tomorrow we'll do more welding and we'll do metal finishing. Hopefully my battery doesn't die at this moment. What do you think? Looking good or what? Well, it's all welded in, and what I had to do is I had to cool it down with a rag because my compressor wasn't full and I didn't feel like filling it up. So I used a cold rag. And unfortunately, what that does is it darkens up the welds just when you cool it. So I had to kind of clean it up a little bit to show where it's been welded. Now, you know I like my trick, the little uh, cutoff disc on edge, but some of this metal was admittedly very thin, so I had to kind of snot the weld up a little bit, you know, hold the torch away and kind of stack it. So now what I'm doing is just hitting it with a mini flap to just kind of knock down the highs and lows here. Knock down the highs to the lows. And then we'll metal finish this. Okay? So far, so good. And I'll show you how nice the wheel well trim fits once I have it all ground down. You don't want to listen to me grinding. That's annoying. For your benefit, I wish I was a better videographer. I really do. I'm here working away and I'm saying to myself, my gosh, maybe people do want to see some of the metal finishing techniques that I use. And for those that haven't watched me a whole lot, this is one of my greatest, greatest tools. You know, you can take this little baby on edge and just touch the top of the weld without touching the original or the new, new metal. And what you'll get is you got to get into these zones where you got to kind of read it. You know, you got to read where you're grinding. And if you see a little, like, a, like an earthquake line there, you know that your weld, because you know I welded up here, your weld is still higher than your new metal. So you have to float that out a little bit. And it's just, it's nothing more than sculpting. I wish I could tell you it's not. Yeah, I wish I could tell you it's something scientific. It's not. It takes minutes to weld this up. It takes hours to metal finish this. You know, don't go worry about stacking dimes and all of that nonsense because you still have to grind it down. So this is what it looks like when you hit it with a flap. It gets kind of shiny. And this is what it looks like when you start hitting it on edge with a grinder. And obviously this will all have to be smoothed out again. So that's kind of where I'm at. It's looking better and better. And I'll just keep going. Whoo, okay. Phase one of grinding. There is a little anomaly right here in the body line. See if I can't grind that out. You see that shadow there? That right there. It's a little bit of a... Which means that the original car fender is a little bit higher outward than this was. Even though the lines where I welded were nice and smooth. Remember, this is the front part of a quarter panel. Let's see if I can't grind that to make that look a little bit more consistent, because that, that's bugging me. All right, that's it, okay? So you take that, and once you have it like this, stop with the grinder. Because now you're gonna start putting a lot of little ribs in it. Now we're gonna go back to the mini flap and see if we can't really start making this look a little bit more consistent. It looks like there's a fire behind me. That's just the auto refinery light flashing in the background. Okay. This is the last time you'll see this all black. I'm going to clean this all up, really start trying to even things out here. All right, let's clean this up a little bit.
You know what's going to happen? I'm going to go burn it through a weld, and then I'm going to put a friggin' hammer right through that thing. So we're going to call that good enough for now. You might do the old trick where you hit it with a little bit of sandpaper and dull it out. But that's, that's what you got. No longer rotted fender. Okay, now we can bolt it back on the car at some point. Cool, man. Another progress, another uh, big step in the way of progress, rather. Still got a little bit to do on the inside of that wheel well lip. Not going to leave that. I'll have to cut some pieces out of there and weld that up, but little by little. Okay, there we go. W31, certainly coming back together. Well, I think we're going to call this done for now. I know I got to fix the inside lip there that goes behind the wheel well. That's just going to be tedious and not ultra fun there's a little pinhole there that is gonna have to be remedied but that might be the uh that might be the mo of this car in any case i told you i would show you how the wheel well molding fits and that's how the wheel well molding fits pretty good pretty good no longer a rotted no longer a rotted fender let's clean the garage up Get ready for the work week. That body line came back a little bit better. It is definitely, yeah, it go. looks a little bit better that way because it's less shadows, but okay, cool. Uh, fender video number, I don't know what this is, but if this is the end of it, as always, thanks for watching. We really appreciate everybody paying attention to all the little details and the, the little minutiae of building a car like this from scratch. Lots and lots of time. Go back and watch some of the other videos or don't, but <laughs> don't call me crazy to my face, right? All right, cool. See you next time. Thanks.